In this video, I'd like to teach you how to collect data using the Collector app that's available for both iOS and Android. In order to collect data with the Collector app, you first have to have a place to put it. So the first thing to do is to create a hosted feature layer inside ArcGIS Online, and then you add that to a new web map so that you have a web map, you have a new feature layer that you can then add to that web map, when you go into the field with your collector app, you can then open that feature layer and you can add data to it. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is sign in to ArcGIS Online using your account so that you can access your content and create a new feature layer. So for us at the University of Toronto, the URL is utoronto.maps.arcgis.com. So use your enterprise login and that will allow you to log in with your regular UTOR ID. And that will bring you to the home page for the U of T portal for ArcGIS Online. So once you're signed in, you can navigate to the content page. And depending on whether you have content that you've created already, uh, you'll see some maps that are already there, or it may just be empty like I have for this folder here. This is just my demo folder, so I haven't created anything here yet. So there's not much to this really. We're just going to click on Create, Feature Layer, and note, do not create a tile layer. Make sure it's a feature layer. We're going to create it from a template. And if you scroll down, you'll see one for field notes. So let's select that. Select Create. So by default with this template, we're going to have three layers created for us. One for points, one for lines, one for polygons. And just because usually more information is better, I'm going to check the box that says Capture GPS Receiver Information. Click Next. You can zoom to the area that's going to be the extent for your map. So for us, we're going to zoom in to Toronto. So I'm going to just zoom in here to the campus and select Next. So I'll need a title for this. You can add tags if you want. I'm just going to leave it with the default. You can add a summary as well, and I'm in this case, I'm going to just save it in my demo folder and click Done. So one thing that might be useful to do is to scroll down to the settings and say allow others to export to different formats. So if you are working with someone else and you want to let them be able to export it, say, to a geodatabase, this might come in handy. Click Save. And that's all there is to it. You now have a hosted feature layer, which becomes the repository for the data that you're going to collect in the field. Now, this might seem a little confusing, but if you go into the Collector app on your phone and try to look for this hosted feature layer, you won't see it. What you have to do is first create a web map that has that feature layer in it, and then you open the web map on your phone. That will allow you to access the feature layer and then collect the data for that feature layer. So now let's create a new web map. Go back to Content, say Create, Map, and so I'm going to give this the imaginative title of Campus Demo Map. You'll notice I'm not using any spaces here. I'm using underscores. I just find it safer that way. Some parts of ArcGIS allow spaces, some don't. So I just like to keep it this way so it's simple and straightforward. You have to add some tags here. So I'm just going to say Campus. And I use a tab to create another one. Let's just say Demo. OK, that's all I need. I'm going to save it in my demo folder and click OK. OK, so now I have an empty web map. We'll zoom in to the campus. Let's see, somewhere around here. It looks good. And we're going to add our layer. So I'm going to say search for layers. I'm going to add my campus demo and say add to map. Okay, so I've added this to my map. You can't see anything because the feature layer is empty, but it's there. And so now I can save my map and I should be able to see this and access it from the collector app on my phone. So I'll click save up here. And that's it.
if I go back to content, you can now see in my demo folder that I have my web map here as well as my feature layer that's hosted. That means it's being stored in the cloud. If I click on my web map, I can look at the properties for it. One thing to check is to go to the settings, scroll down, and make sure that it's checked that says use in collector for ArcGIS. So if that's checked, that means you should be able to see it in your collector app. As long as you're signed into the same ArcGIS Online account, you should be able to see your web map, your hosted feature layer will be part of that, and you should be able to access it using Collector. Okay, so it looks like we're good to go. Okay, so now I've opened the Collector app on my phone. I've logged in to my account. It's just the same URL and login information as you would use in ArcGIS Online through the web. And you'll see that right now it says that I have no maps available for my Collector app. That's because I've just added it. I'll need to refresh it first and then it should show up. So I'm just going to pull down and there you go. I refreshed it and there's my new campus demo map. Awesome. So now it's available for me to use. Okay, so we'll tap on that. And it's asking me, you know, allow collector to access your location while you're using the app. Of course, we have to allow it to do that. And so here I am. So it's telling me that I have a GPS accuracy of 165 meters. That's not so great. Required is nine meters. Now that's probably because I'm actually doing this inside my office. I have my GPS receiver that's connected by Bluetooth to my phone up against the window. I was hoping I'd be able to use it from in here, but it looks like because I'm uh, only able to access a small part of the sky, I'm getting pretty lousy accuracy. So I'm gonna try this anyway though. So I'm going to zoom in here. And in order to collect a point, you just tap on the plus sign. And you can add category one, let's call it. Now it's telling me I have no valid location just because my accuracy is so lousy. Hopefully yours will be better. And I can just collect my point by saying add point. Okay, so now if I swipe down, you can see that that point has been added to my data set. And so that's it. I've just collected my first point. Woohoo! So then I tap submit. And so what's happening is that's actually being uploaded to the cloud, to my web map layer in ArcGIS Online in the portal. And so that information, as I'm collecting it, as long as you have a, a data connection, will update in real time to your web map so that when you go back to your desktop, laptop, whatever you're using to access the data, you should be able to right away be able to see that data in the web map and then you can access it through ArcMap if you want to uh, and then uh, you do it, use it for whatever you want. Now I encourage you to explore some of the options and features available in the app. If you want you can swipe up, you can take a photo. Uh, if you want to remember what was at that location, that might be useful, or maybe it's a photo of yourself taking data or collecting data. If you swipe up more, you can see that you can add things like comments. So if there's something about that location that you want to remember, you can do that. I'm not going to do anything here. I'll just say done. And then if I wanted to, if I'd updated the information, I could then click submit again as well. So that's essentially how Collector works. It's kind of a basic introduction. I do encourage you to explore some of the features that are available in it to think about what's happening as you're collecting data and what might be affecting the accuracy as you're walking around. Once you've collected your data, you can then import it into ArcGIS and work with it from there. So here I am in ArcMap. I'm now gonna add my hosted feature layer to my map so that I can access the data that I collected. I just go up to add data from ArcGIS Online. First, I'll have to sign in so that it knows which account I'm using so it can access my data. So once I'm signed in, I can just navigate to my data. And you can see that I have my map here, Campus Demo, and I can click Add. So here's my Campus Demo data set. Obviously, mine's pretty straightforward because there's not a lot in there. I just wanted to show you how this works. But you can actually see that the data that I collected is in there. So now that it's an arc map, I can basically do whatever I want with it, just like I can with any other feature layer. One thing that you may want to do is to export the data into a file geodatabase if you want to be able to use it offline or share it with somebody else without having to give them access to your ArcGIS Online account. Other than that, you can basically use it any way you want. 
You can add it into uh, a map that you're creating of the campus so that you can show off the data you've collected in a nice, beautiful map.